Hi, it's Pat Gillis here. And October 1st, 1985 kind of seems like a long, long time ago, but it got me thinking about a lot of stuff. And for some reason, it made me think back to when I first started riding, which was when I was a really little kid. And I remember my parents took me to this place and it's called Hilltop Stables. And it was a dump and they didn't treat the horses very well. And even as a kid, I kind of knew that, but I didn't know what to do about it. And I remember... I still feel guilty about it that I gave them any money at all and um but I guess you know those guys that, that were there like they were they'd been working with horses you know three times longer than I'd been alive you know so like I guess I just didn't have the courage to say something to them but even as a little kid I knew there was something that it just wasn't fair what they were doing to the horses later at least I got I got to work with some really great mentors and they exposed me to some great um books and literature that really explain that cla that riding is a classical discipline based on respect and understanding of the horse. When I started my business in 1985, I remember thinking, you know, like riding takes like lifetimes to learn to do properly, but, but being kind to the horses and respecting them, that you could teach pretty quick. And I always sort of had a sense that it would have a great benefit and not just to the horses. And over the years, like all the students, I've had a lot of students that have gone on to do really great things. Like some of them are doctors and veterinarians and paramedics and accountants and lawyers and politicians, business owners. And they all, all of the ones who I still keep in touch with, a lot of them, and, and they all really remember fondly all the lessons that the horses taught them. At any rate, those are some of the things that I was thinking about this weekend when we were talking about the or getting ready for the horse show. And uh, on Saturday, I was inconveniently very under the weather, and uh, right, which was the day before the horse show. And uh, But anyway, when I came back out to the barn, I found that the kids had been cleaning up. And when I say cleaning, I mean cleaning. Like they had, they had um, cleaned the bathrooms, washed the windows, mopped the floor, um, all the tack had been cleaned, That like all the dust was off the tack and they mucked out the paddocks that were next to the sand ring. They raked the arena <laughs> and they uh, even set up the jumps for the, for the horse show. And they did it this all of their own initiative. Like nobody asked them to do that. And then the next day at the horse show, just, it was just great. Like they were so supportive of each other and they were even supportive of the people from off property that had come. They were encouraging them all the time. And the very best of it was that they, they rode to their absolute best ability. And then they really, it was just so wonderful to watch them as they thanked the horse, regardless of the outcome. And honestly, it's, it's moments like that that just make everything worthwhile. You know, he, horses will teach us a lot if we let them. Like, they teach us honesty, integrity, resilience, courage, empathy, and compassion for others. And I've been blessed to have some of the best teachers ever for this last 33 years. Here's to the horses of Harrogate, the students of Harrogate, and all the people who've helped out over the years to keep this thing going. And here's to the next 33 years. That's not true. If you're watching this anywhere besides that, our blog at ismyhorsehappy.com, go on over there, scroll down, leave a comment if you have any memories of Harrogate or of things that horses have taught you over the years. We'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thanks. Talk to you next week.